With the rise of a multipolar world comes hope for a future free from U.S. dollar dominance and a global order where win-win cooperation reigns supreme. For many around the world, BRICS is the vehicle that can turn that dream into a reality with an independent worldwide currency. I dream of having a common currency for countries to use in transactions so that we could be independent from the U.S. dollar. It cannot be that we couldn't have more freedom for conducting business. I dream of BRICS having its own currency like the European Union's euro. For now, the dollar's global hegemony is indisputable, with the greenback involved in 88% of all international transactions. And Russia, the world's most sanctioned country, has good reason to want to change the game. Last year, its banks were kicked out of SWIFT and half of its overseas reserves to the tune of $330 billion were frozen. It's all part of what Moscow says is the dollar being used as a weapon. I have no doubt that using your rich experience in government work and knowledge in this area, you will do your best to develop this institution, which in my opinion is very important today. It's not easy to do so under current conditions, bearing in mind what is happening with the global finances, with the use of the dollar as a political instrument. The US dollar has been greatly discredited and proved untrustworthy as a main reserve currency. It has been proven that if the issuing country suddenly has a desire to punish someone, it will abuse its position without hesitation. It's not just Russia looking to break away from dollar dependence. Alongside Moscow, Beijing and Brasilia have moved towards greater use of national currencies in international transactions. Brazil's reinstated president Lula da Silva has long advocated for deeper reliance on BRICS, and China considers dollar dominance to be the main source of global instability. The hegemony of the U.S. dollar is the main source of instability and uncertainty in the world economy. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the United States abused its global financial position and injected trillions of dollars into the global market, leaving other countries, especially emerging economies, to pay the price. A prime example of that instability is Afghanistan. The United Nations says six million Afghans are at risk of starving to death, and the organization's calling for $770 million in immediate humanitarian aid. Still, Washington refuses to release the $3.5 billion of frozen Afghan assets that could ease the suffering of the Afghan people, a problem that would not exist if those reserves weren't held in dollars in the United States. It's one of many similar situations that have left people looking to BRICS as a more humane alternative. The New Development Bank has taken a decision that at least 30 percent of new lending would be in local currency. So I think BRICS has been the catalyst to move towards greater financial independence and not being held hostage uh, by one or two currencies. Countries should proceed to establish new financial mechanisms, which will prove that it is not only the physical currency of the existing ones that can replace the dollar. The West's global influence is in decline. Countries formerly in the periphery are now asserting themselves. The world is undergoing immense change. With a multipolar economic future on the horizon, it's likely that this change will be for the better for everyone. Afrique Media. Le monde, c'est nous.